Good evening. I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. New at 6 o'clock, a major development today in the ongoing Bank of America EDD debit card fraud epidemic that KPIX5 was first to expose last fall. A federal judge just finalized an order that forces the bank to make some big changes. KPIX5's Kenny Choi is live outside the federal courthouse in San Francisco with the very latest. Kenny? Liz, this order is a result of an ongoing class action lawsuit that was filed by unemployment benefit recipients who say that money was stolen from their accounts. For six days, attorneys for the plaintiffs and Bank of America engaged in these negotiation talks. And today, a federal judge issuing a preliminary injunction based on those negotiations. Violate it, cheat it. Unheard. San Francisco based realtor Jennifer Yick says Bank of America never helped her after making multiple calls to report fraudulent charges that emptied her account last November. The case against B of A reaching a pivotal moment after hundreds of thousands of benefit recipients reported a slew of problems, including unauthorized transactions on their chipless EDD Bank of America debit cards. I'm a taxpayer. I paid into the system. I'm collecting because I'm out of work and you can't assist me. Since last fall, hundreds of others have been reaching out to KPIX5, desperately asking for help, saying their claims were denied without an investigation and sometimes a day after calling the bank. I've lost around five to $6,000. That's still frozen. But in January, Yick found an attorney to file the first class action lawsuit related to security issues, freezing of accounts, and denials of provisional credit. The bank stopped its normal procedures of conducting an investigation and started to use a flawed screening process. They are trying to find the balance, I would guess, between needing to uh, prevent fraud, which we know has pervaded this case from the beginning, and getting money back to the people who deserve it. Ted Merman teaches consumer protection law at Berkeley School of Law. Two weeks ago, a federal judge ordered the two parties to come to some kind of an agreement, even as the legal proceedings continue. It is certainly a win for the plaintiffs. It's certainly progress in the case. Uh, it means that uh, the court is serious about making sure that Bank of America investigates people's claims. Among the dozen newly agreed upon items that are now part of the court ordered injunction, the bank cannot use its current claim fraud filter to freeze accounts or to close unauthorized transaction claims. Any closed claim based solely on results of the previously used claim fraud filter has to be reopened within 10 to 30 days and a new option to authenticate identity at a local bank branch or by calling a new dedicated 800 number. Bank of America sent us this statement saying, with this agreement, we are committing to additional measures to help unemployment recipients who have been victimized by fraud receive their benefits as quickly as possible. In court documents, the bank says the plaintiff's wide-ranging demands would instead help legions of criminals perpetuate fraudulent schemes because the bank believes most of the fraud claims were filed by criminals in the first place. We were able to get this preliminary injunction so early in the case is because after we filed, we did receive uh, publicity about the case from your channel. And um, uh, because of that, we were contacted by hundreds of plaintiffs who wanted to join the case. In emails to KPIX5, the bank has stated multiple times that each claim is investigated. No claim is denied without review. That was from Bank of America. Given your reporting, <laughs> the people that you've talked to, given the people that I've talked to, uh, that's not accurate. There are people who can time their contact to the bank and the letter that they got back from the bank, not giving the bank any plausible opportunity to have investigated the claim. Seven months have passed and Yick says her account still hasn't been credited, but she's not feeling helpless anymore. I feel like our voice is being heard or being acknowledged. Kenny, what else is Bank of America saying about all this? So, Liz, Bank of America has said that it's EDD, the agency, that made that ultimate decision to go with these chipless cars that have these magnetic strips instead, which are more susceptible to fraud. As for the lawsuit, it is far from over, but certainly today, a pivotal moment in this case against Bank of America. Liz? All right, Kenny, thank you. To see all of our original reporting on EDD fraud, head to our website, kpix.com slash EDD.